To help your Kubota Z200 series mower operate at its maximum potential, regularly scheduled maintenance is crucial. Precautions regarding personal protection should be followed as described in your operator's manual. Your local Kubota dealer will have the correct parts. In addition to the important regularly scheduled maintenance of your Z200 series Kubota, you may find it desirable to adjust the HST neutral position setting of the motion control levers for the left and right sides. This is an easy procedure with the following directions. To perform this service, you'll need the following, a pair of jack stands or suitable firm blocking, a floor jack, safety glasses, an assortment of wrenches and hand tools, and a torque wrench. Let's get started. Using the floor jack, lift the rear of the Z200 and securely place on jack stands or on secure firm blocking under the rear frame. Do not rely on hydraulic supports as they can bleed down or be released accidentally. Be sure to work on a level surface in a very well ventilated area. If necessary, use a sealed exhaust extension to vent exhaust outdoors. Remove both rear wheels. Start the engine and run at maximum speed. To adjust the HST neutral control, loosen the three bolts of the guide plate. Adjust the guide plate until the rear axle rotation fully stops. Tighten the rear bolt and place the lever in the neutral lock position. Verify that the rear axle rotation is fully stopped. If the axle does not stop rotating, adjust this HST neutral position again. Adjust the opposite side lever equally in the same manner. After adjusting left and right levers correctly in this fashion, shut off the engine and remove the key. Both motion control levers are interlinked but adjust separately. Both must be adjusted. With the engine not running, push the motion control lever until it reaches the end of its range of motion. Then move the speed adjustment plate rearward two to three millimeters and tighten the two front bolts securely. If the motion control levers are not aligned in the forward position, you can align them. Loosen the bolts. Slide both levers forward or rearward to the desired position within the tab slots until the levers are aligned. Tighten the bolts. Check your Z200 operator's manual for the correct torque settings for bolt tightness. Replace the wheels and tires back on the machine. Tighten to the proper torque specs as stated in the operator's manual. Then safely lower the machine and remove jack stands or blocking. Then test the adjustment by safely operating the Z200 at full speed in a straight line. If the Z200 pulls to one side or the other, that usually indicates that one wheel is turning faster than the other. The adjustment to correct this is easy. Park the machine on a firm, level surface and stop the engine and remove the key. Loosen the two front bolts of the faster side of the machine. Move the plate slightly rearward, which will slow that side, and retighten the bolts. Then retest and repeat as necessary. Always consult your Kubota Z200 operator's manual for detailed instructions and illustration. If you're unable to make these adjustments correctly and safely, please consult your local Kubota dealer. Thanks for watching. Kubota, together we do more.